it's Wednesday and a special treat for my W800 a blast of fresh air first time I've uh, ridden it for quite some time um, and I do love it um, it is one of those bikes that um, unless you ride it all the time every time you get on it you think oh this is a bit wobbly and then um, once you've been riding it a few miles you sort of settle down into it a bit like um, a classy chair I often find an expensive chair um, you sit on it and you think oh this is a bit hard this doesn't seem very comfortable but the longer you sat there you realise how clever the design is and uh, how comfortable it actually is well the Kawasaki W800 is a little bit like that so it's far from like sitting on an armchair although it's got the um, ace bars it's not that cramped I mean I'm six foot two it's not a huge bike but um, I feel quite comfortable on it um, I did have a Triumph Daytona and that was uh, seriously uncomfortable um, all the weight on your wrists um, the distance from the foot peg to the seat just seemed all wrong for me and um, my hips used to hurt and that wasn't a, a, a particularly an age thing because that's going back quite a few years now as well um, so yeah the Kawasaki W800 not the fastest thing alive but uh, plenty of power for real life riding particularly if you get stuck behind uh, when they capture not sure what they would capture particularly driven like this My brother saw my uh, video from yesterday um, regarding my memories and he, 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 he recalls it was a Triumph Tiger Cup the, the Bantam we bought um, it came in a tea chest apart from the frame um, and we rebuilt that and uh, we remember racing around our garden we took we we built a track around the garden and I, I, between us we can't recollect how my parents put up with it but they they did um, and in fact i remember a friend of my brother's was racing the bantam around the garden and i jumped out of the way and we had a washing line and i sort of jumped backwards into the washing line which immediately pinged me forwards again and I fell flat out just as uh, the Bantam comes whizzing round and this friend Gary he he was a big strong lad and he literally picked the bike up off me um, not that the particularly heavy bikes but uh, it was heavy to us as kids um, and when we called another a neighbour who was on a we had an old uh, Honda 50cc Cup um, and he hadn't ridden motorbikes much but he was going around the track and he, he ended up um, stuck in the hedge but with the bike uh, with its front wheel pointing to the skies and him wedged in the hedge it was uh, hilarious at the time amazing we all survived those 
those years um, and even more that my parents put up with the shenanigans that that we got up to So the Kawasaki W800 CAF I think it's one of Kawasaki's best kept secrets I mean, you don't see that many of them and they don't seem to sell in very large numbers but I saw this um, at Orwell Motorcycles uh, brand new um, and uh, it seemed to be there for quite a while and I got it for a very good price um, I just like the look of it I think it looks uh, simply marvellous and with Kawasaki technology and reliability um, I thought I couldn't go wrong and I, I've been proved right I absolutely love it um, once you get the tyres warmed up um, it's pretty good I mean if we think back to those early days or at least my early days of motorbiking the tyres were almost square and so um, you know you could literally fall off the edge well these tyres aren't quite that bad but they do have the white uh, the line down the middle which makes them um, a bit snaky on white lines and any ribs and roadwork patches and things I would quite like some uh, louder exhausts on it because but when you actually stood directly behind it, it sounds beautiful um, but unfortunately when you're riding it, you don't hear much of that um, I suspect on the GoPro it sounds very quiet So, uh, a ride out on the W800 I often uh, thought of as a competitor for Triumph and that it was just a copy of one of the other and I think everybody, just about everybody that matters anyway is fully aware that it, it's not a copy of anything it's a copy of itself from the 1960s which the original was a little bit of a, a rip-off of uh, BSA ironically um, and maybe why I admire the BSA Gold Star that's coming out so much who knows so Wendy is the name not my name, the name of the bike she's uh, don't know why Wendy but there you go